question number 109 try this sums here they are saying that line l and m both are parallel t is a transversal so what will be the measure of angle x now as you can see as you can see here they have given the measure of the angle that is 60 degree now 60 degree and angle x they are alternate interior angles so they are equal so we can write here x equals to 60 degree. Now line A and B both are parallel to each other. Here line A is there and here line B is there. C is a transversal. This is a C and it is a transversal. What will be the measure of angle Y? Here you can see that 55 and Y. They both are interior angles. They are diagonally opposite. So they are again alternate interior angles and that's why their measures will be same so angle y equals to 55 degree our next question is l1 and l2 b2 lines t is a transversal so this is first line second line and this t is our transversal is angle 1 equals to angle 2 Angle 1 will be equal to angle 2 if these two lines will be parallel then this two would have become corresponding angles. Now here first of all they have not said that these two lines are parallel and we can see that they are not parallel. At some point they will intersect with each other while going up. So these two lines are not parallel and that's why angle 1 is not equal to angle 2. Our next question, line L is parallel to M. So line L is here, line M is here and T is transversal. This is our T which is transversal. So they are asking that what will be the measure of angle Z? So we have to find out that what will be the measure of this angle. Now as you can see, these two angles are interior angles and they are on the same side of transversal. And because of that, they are supplementary. So when we will add them, 60 degree plus angle Z, they will give us 180 degree in total. So angle Z will be 180 minus 60 degree. So we will get measure of angle Z will be equals to 120 degree. Another example is line L is parallel to M. So this is our line L, this is M, they both are parallel and T is transversal over here. What will be the angle X? This is angle X and that we have to find out. As you can see, 120 degree and angle X, they both are corresponding angles. And that's why their measures are same, they are equal. So that's why angle X equals to 120 degree because L is parallel to M and they are corresponding angles. Line L is parallel to line M. So these two lines are parallel and line P is parallel to line Q. Now with these four lines we have to find out measure of angle a b c and d so let us start with this two angle first angle whose measure is 60 degree and second angle whose measure is a now these two angles are pair of interior angles which are on the same side of transversal so they are supplementary as they are supplementary 60 degree and addition of angle A should give us 180 degree in total. So angle A equals to 180 degree minus 60 degree will give us measure of angle A and that is 120 degree. So this is going to be our first answer. Now let us assume another angle that is over here and I am giving name for that angle is angle E. Now let us check the relation between angle A and angle E. They are corresponding angles to each other. 
So corresponding angles are always equal. So angle A will be equal to angle E as they are corresponding angles. So angle E's measure is also 120 degree. Now, now angle E and angle D, they both are vertically opposite angle. Angle E and angle D, they both are vertically opposite angles. So they are equal in measure. And so angle D equals to same measure as angle E that is 120 degree. So here we got another answer that angle D equals to 120 degree. Now as you can see, angle D and angle C, they both are making linear pair. So they are supplementary. So addition of angle D and C will give us 180 degree. So here we know that angle D is 120 degree, but angle C, we need to find out and this is going to be 180 degree. So angle C equals to 180 minus 120 equals to 60 degree. So this is going to be our third answer that is angle C equals to 60 degree. Now angle C and angle B, they both are vertically opposite angles. So that's why they both are equal. And that's why angle B equals to 60 as they are vertically opposite angle. So here we found out measure of all the angles that angle A, angle D, angle C and angle B. So thank you for watching and learning with us. If you have any doubt, please comment down below. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing. And don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself.